कूजतम रामरामेति मधुरम मधुराक्षरम आरुह्य कविता शाखा वंदे वाल्मीकिकोकिल वेद वेदे परे पुंसी जाते दशरथात्मजे वेद प्राचेत सा दासी साक्षात्मना नमस्कार I am humbled and honored to the organizers who have invited me on this solemn occasion. Of course, the topic has been dealt in terms of temple architecture, music, dance by experts in those fields. I have been asked to speak from the literature side of how Tamil Nadu, especially. has been at the forefront in shri rama and shri rama bhakti honestly today a discussion such as this beat in a forum or a conclave or even a casual discussion will end up with a question ramayanam which because we believe that there are too many ramayanams in a way yes it is but rama story is only one and that has been told to us by valmiki so valmiki's ramayanam is mukhya pramanam there is no doubt about that of course kamban has dealt that with all uh, figures of speech and tulsidas's ramcharitmanas is extremely beautiful no doubt but when it comes to pramanam it is valmiki ramayanam alone so when i speak about valmiki and i speak about valmiki ramayanam how does tamil nadu feature because the grandest of the commentaries called bhushanam by govinda raja belongs to the state of tamil nadu for valmiki ramayanam so we have close to six commentaries people do you know uh, now we have uh, temporary twitter and facebook experts on shastram and uh, You, you know there'll be there is of course a sarvagnya kora.com it knows everything so we trust in kora and uh, more than what valmiki has said but in sanatana dharma which is hinduism i know the locality in which i am speaking may attract uh, attention but it warrants that sanatana dharma which is hinduism we believe that along with the mukhya pramanam the mula pramanam the commentaries are equally important without the commentaries it is very tough for us to even decipher certain shlokas so we have six commentaries to the ramayanam we have uh, maheshwara tirtha's commentary we have nagesha bhatta uh, we have trayambaka makhin we have govinda raja we have uh, shiva sahaya um so these are all the large commentaries six large commentaries that we have one is based on dharma the si- remaining five are extremely grand and of them undoubtedly amidst the group of scholars govinda raja's bhushanam or govinda rajiyam is the best and to that valmiki ramayanam and its grandest commentary belongs to the state of tamil nadu i begin there in valmiki ramayanam in kishkindha kandam there is a mention where sugriva tells rama when rama is all uh soaked in melancholy as to where sita is he says i kind of noticed a woman crying for help and throwing away her jewelry and then he showcases the jewelry to rama stating that this is what we could gather from what she threw these were collected by our vanara sainyam and here i showcase it to you rama that he had been crying for days and months together and that his eyes were swollen he wanted to get the confirmation done with lakshmana who said naham janami ke yure naham janami kundale nu puret pabhi janami nityam pada abhi vandanat i neither recognize the ornament that's worn on the arm neither in the the choker that's worn around the neck i recognize only the anklet because that is the only way that i could prostrate at the feet of my divine sister in law who is like my mother ramam dasharatham vidhi mam vidhi janakatmajam ayodhya matavim vidhi gachata tayata sukham se sumitra So there is this occasion in Kishkindha Kandam which states that the Vanaras gathered these ornaments, brought them and collated them together and presented to Sugriva, who showcased them to Rama. This portion is taken by a poet in Purana Anur, which is one of the earliest Tamil works that we have recorded so far, with a very acclaimed and celebrated historian who is also my friend 
Chitra Madhavan here, I should not be talking about dates. So, uh, it's always safe to say between 5th century BCE to 2nd century <laughs> CE. So, somewhere between that. It's one of the oldest works of Purana Anuru, which is said to have belonged to the last Sangam age. And there are various poets who contribute to making that compendium. In that one poet says, he says that there was a poet in the locals who was not that celebrated. But one day it happened so that he had Shukra Yoga. In Jatakam, you have Shukra Yoga, right? Shukra Dasha, Shukra Yoga. Uh, you know, Jyotishya Shastram is so important to Ramayanam and Govinda Raja explores that completely. He says, a person who is born on Navami Tithi, Sesha Bhagaha. A person who is born on the Navami Tithi will always leave a balance. That is why Rama fights, kills Subahu and leaves Maricha as balance. He fights 13,999 demons and leaves Akampana as the balance. So this is the dosham of being born on a Navami Tithi, says Govinda Raja. Now coming to the point. So this poet sings beautiful poems in front of the king. And the king gives him some jewelry. And this a uh, poet goes and showcases this jewellery that he has received as a gift, now as a possession, to his family members. His family members who have been living in the heights of destitution and poverty are unaware which jewellery should be put where. So they start putting the, uh, the monkey somewhere on the head, the choker on the leg. So they start asthana sneha karunyam, they start misplacing jewellery. That time the poet in Purananur writes, like how the Vanaras were confused as to which jewellery to put where when Sita threw the jewellery are these. See, even for a simile, you are so soaked in Ramayanam in the state of Tamil Nadu that you end up borrowing from Ramayanam. So that's where Puranarunar begins. Silapadigaram, which is often attributed to the author who is said to have belonged to the Jaina Matam, Jina. We have a history of Jina Matam even in Bhagavatam. We begin from Rishabhanatha. And we have uh, Bhagavad Ramanuja who extremely condemns it. Not that Ra Shankara and Ramanuja spared Buddhism and Jainism, but they fought it philosophically, not through the sword. So, in Jina Matam, we have Saptabhangi Vadam and so on. So, this poet is said to have belonged to Jina Matam. He says in Aichir Kuravai, Vadavarayai Mattaki, those of them who do not understand uh, Tamil, the medium of this lecture is in English. But to literally translate every word is going to be seriously impossible. So, uh, it is a beautiful language. I say that with full responsibility. Please learn. So, Vadavarayai Mattaki Vasukiyai Nanaki Kadalvannan Pandurunai Kadalvairu Kalakinaye. Then he says, Muvulagum Iradiyal Murai Niramba Avagai Mudiyat Taviya Sevadi Seppat Tambiyodum Kanpond. Look at the comparison. He says, You know why Rama had to walk in the forest that was infested with thorns and stones? Because he did injustice to Bali. Because he went to Bali's house, Yajnavatika, on the banks of river Narmada. Bali was performing a yagam. Brihaspati Savena, uh, Vajapayam Yajeta is the vakyam. He was doing Vajapayam Brihaspati Savam. So he, out of great magnanimity, sheer magnanimity, told Vamana, whatever you want, you ask. See, when somebody tells you this, you have to be extremely courteous. He should have just picked three measures of land. Instead, he took the entire world. He didn't do justice. The poet says, it's called Nindastuti. He says, in that element of sarcasm, you didn't do justice when you went to the Yajnavatika of Bali and you asked for three measures of land. You didn't do justice. Injustice was meted through land. So on the same land, you are doing, you are doing the prize chittam where the stones prick you. Mubulagum yiradiyal murai nirambavagai mudiya taviya sevadi seppat Tambiyodum Kanpond, he says. So Silapadigaram talks about Ramayana. <laughs> Coming to the Alvar, Stirumari Sai Piran, he says, Kondai Konda Kodai Nidh Ten Vulav Kuni Kun, Vundai Konda Ranga Vatti Vulma Girinda Nadanur. Who is the one who was impressed with letting the hunch go in and come out? Because it seems Rama, in his childhood days, used to take mud balls and attach them to the end of his arrows and shoot at the hunch of Manthara. Says Kamban. 
Kamban describes Manthara. He says, what is her characteristic feature? Staying in one place, she can keep fights in many houses. <laughs> that Manthara, she had a hunch. And Thirumari say Piran, the Alvar says that the mud ball go, used to go and hit at her hunch and the hunch used to go within her because of that little tingling feeling. And the Lord used to be quite impressed with that hunch going in and coming out. Kondai konda kodai meed ten vulavu kooni koon undai konna ranga otti ulmagilnda nada noor. Periyalvar. Periyalvar. He states in Periyalvar Thirumuri. Sittira gooda thirupa shirukka kai mulai thinda yattishayum thirindodi vittagane ramavo ninnabhayam enradaippa attirame adan kannai aruttadum or adayalam. See the conversation what Periyalvar says. See roughly historians don't exactly give the date for Alvars. They roughly put them between the 5th and the 8th or the 9th century CE. We don't have an exact date. He was, he was born on this particular date. So I'm talking roughly 750 years before Cambridge was formed. That's our benchmark, right? So, you know, these days when I'm called for lectures, we have speakers who speak before and after. With no offense meant to them, they're all wonderful srishtis. But still, if they're asked to talk about Rama, there's no word like bhakti, murti and all of that. Rama is a momentum. Rama is an energy. Rama is velocity. I doubt if I'm sitting in a physics class. Rama is bhakti personified. Why does it take so much of effort from our side to use our own words and bring in words like mass, momentum, velocity, energy? And I don't know how... And they have no connection with science that way. Okay, let's come back to the topic. Now, see, I'm a person who gives discourses, so I don't stick to the topic. That's the <laughs> essence of person who does pravachanam. Peri Arvar states, these are the identities that... Hanuman told Sita. Hanuman, when he meets Sita for the first time in Lanka, she's dub she wants to be doubly sure if this is the original messenger because she didn't ask for this verification from Ravana. So she's now asking, ah, have you come from Rama? How do I believe you? That is when Periyalvar, the father, the foster father of Andal says, Shittiraguda tirpa shirukka kai mulaitinda. Mother, do you remember while both you and Rama were housed in the forests of Chitrakuta, there was this kaka, the crow that came and pecked at your bosom, that blood oozed, and then Rama took a blade of grass, made that into an aishikam, which is a brahmastram, and at the end of it, as a sign of his punishment, took away one of the eyes of the crow. This is what Periyalvar says, what Hanuman told Sita. But those of you who have read the Ramayana will know in Sundarakandam, Hanuman does not tell this to Sita. Sita tells this to Hanuman. So the commentator asks, how could Periyalvar shift this story? Immediately we will have our own jnanis who will say, no sir, this happened in the previous Chatur Yuga. See, that's where my Pracharya, who was Mahamahopadhyay Uttamur Swami, he used to state, look at the verses of Valmiki Ramayanam. When Sita narrates to Hanuman about this Kakasura incident, there are four verses which is told in first person, three in second person. See, for example, Sita tells Hanuman, Hanuman, you know when both of us were staying together, this happened. Suddenly she'll say, Rama, I told you, right? Suddenly she'll make the conversation between her and Rama. Three verses will be between her and Hanuman. So those verses which are between her and Rama was not known to Hanuman. Those which were told to Hanuman directly was known to the world. So what is known to the world can be conveyed by Hanuman to Sita. So Periyalvar shifts that in Periyalvar Tirumuri. So this is another message which my Acharya has resolved. Andal, such a devote, devotee of Krishna, she explores Krishna everywhere. Sangoda chakkaram yendum tadakkayan mannu vadamadurai maindan uruthi maganai pirandu oriravil tuya perunir yamunayai kadandu uruthi maganai volithu valara peimulai nanjundu kallachakadam kalakkaliya kalochi kandru kundru kunila verindhanai kundru kudaya veduthonai Every bit of Krishna avataram is described by Andal who is referred to Krishna Devaraya as Amukta Malyada. But she tells whom she loves the most. You know who has impressed my mind and heart? It is the one who killed the king of 
லங்கா சினத்தினால் தென்னிலங்கை கோமானை செற்ற மனத்து கினியான் சோ ஆண்டாள் ஸ்பீக்ஸ் அபவுட் ராமா தொண்டரடி பொடி ஆழ்வார் who you know tondaradi podi alvar those of you who have known tondaradi podi alvar he gave two prabandhams one is called tirumalai the other one is adula kelviyum keppa enna idu start to vera vandirukal it is called tirupalli elchi those of them who claim to support the tamil language will find it tough to pronounce it is tirupalli elchi now Tondaradi Podiyalvar was extremely famous to bring about the lesser known upakhyanams we have Vishnu Trayam we have Vishnu Puranam Vishnu Dharmam and Vishnu Dharmottara Puranam so these are three books in Vishnu Dharmam we have one anecdote called Mudgalopakhyanam it is found only in Vishnu Dharmam Tondaradi Podiyalvar is the only poet to my knowledge whatever i have read in shastram who invokes this namanum mudgalanum pesa narage ninnargal kekka nargame swargamagum namangal udaya nambi so he tells about the uh, squirrels that performed kainkaryam to the rama setu remember valmiki does not make a mention about the squirrels in setu bandharam there is no mention of the squirrels there is a upakhyanam called setu bandhana kavyam by pravara sena who belong to maharashtra he gave a uh, the setu bandhana kavyam which has 2500 verses in prakritam how the setu was constructed it has been invoked in kavya darsha as well he does not talk about the squirrels either the only person who makes mention of squirrel is tondare priyalvar he says malaigal nokka kulittam puranditodi malaigal utra silamila anilum polen like the squirrels that you know what squirrels did it's an interesting conversation the commentator periyavachan pillai tells 900 years back it seems some monkeys were carrying large boulders and rocks and were throwing them into the sea but between the rocks you need something to fill the gap somebody has to do the masonry work so the squirrels got together they used to bathe they said monkeys you don't even have acharam you're not bathing see we are all they used to jump into the oceanic waters with their wet bodies they used to come and roll their bodies their wet bodies on the fine sand of the sea so their body was filled with sand they used to go between the rocks and used to shake their body all the sand used to go between the crevices so they used to tell the monkeys the pace at which you are working it will never get completed do fast so that was the commentary to that particular shloka so that is why i don't know why anil in th- sanskritam or tamil service is called seva sevai tamil nad has this brand anil sevai i have not taken a single rupee from them okay tirupanaalvar tirupanaalvar he says sadurama madilshul ilangai kiraivan thalai pattum udiravoti or venganai kuitavan odavannan vedanta deshika gives an exquisite commentary true to his name vedanta acharya called munivahana bhogam on tirupanaalvar's prabandham he says Salam, uh, this particular lanka had mummadil whenever the tamil poets describe lanka they will call it the three layered fort because it has water as a fortress on one side then there are mountains and then there is forest so there are three layers that hanuman and the vanaras had to cross so there is a clear mention of tirupanaalvar in his prabandham amalanadi piran i don't have to talk about திருமங்கை ஆழ்வார் பிகாஸ் ஹீ சேஸ் ஏழை ஏதலன் கீழ்மகன் என்னாதிரங்கி மற்றவர் கின்னருள் சுரந்து மாழைமான் மடநோக்கி உம்பி எம்பி என்று ஒழிந்திலை சி வென் ராமா மீட்ஸ் குஹா குஹா வாஸ் அ சைல்ட்ஹுட் ஃப்ரெண்ட் ஆஃப் ராமா ஹி பிலாங் டு த நிஷாத ஜாதி ஸோ ஹீ வாஸ் அ போட்ஸ்மேன் அண்ட் அ ஹண்டர் மேன் ஸோ ஹீ மீட்ஸ் குஹா ஃபார் த ஃபர்ஸ்ட் டைம் அண்ட் ஹி ஹஸ் டு இன்ட்ரடியூஸ் சீதா ஸோ வாட் ஷுட் ஹி டூ சீதா திஸ் இஸ் மை குட் ஃப்ரெண்ட் குஹா ஃப்ரம் டுடே ஆன்வர்ட்ஸ் மேக் ஃப்ரெண்ட்ஸ் வித் ஹிம் ஆர் அக்செப்ட் இஸ் ஃப்ரெண்ட் ரிக்வஸ்ட் ஆர் வாட் எவர் this should be the conversation but alvar says umbi mb in rolindile rama did not make a conversation like that he said sita this is guha a very nice man learned man very benevolent he is your friend so he is my friend umbi mb point is till now i might have known him you have seen us now only if you accept him as your friend i will accept him as my friend umbi mb in rolindile says tirumangai alvar so you have a list of shri vaishnava saints the alvars who have described ramayanam head to toe there is one work called pasurapadi ramayanam periyavachan pillai has 
taken verses from the 4000 esoteric verses of the mystic saints called the alvas and strung the entire ramayanam together tirumadandai manmadandai irubalum tigala nalavandam illador naattil perinbattu adiyarod tanikkol sella veetirukkum ayarvarum amarargal adipadiyana aniyar polilshul aranganagarappan alai neer kadalul alundum naavai pol aavarar tunayendru tulangum nallamarar tuyathira vallarakkar vaalvai paalpadukkavenni kallai pennaaki vaalal silayeruthu maidiriyai manam punandu 21 kaal it just goes on it goes on now the moment i have a tripundram and i speak about the alvars some paramagnani commentator will write see he is a fanatic he doesn't talk about the nayan mars there are close to 700 verses from the tirumurais where the nayan mars make mention of rama and the ramayana ramayana is no does not belong to one sect it belongs to dharma and even people who hated rama finally had to live with that name for quite some time <laughs> arunagiri natha arunagiri natha the celebrated devotee to kartikeya muruga because muruga is celebrated in the tamil land but trust me the mention of kumara sambhavam the shabdam occurs in balakandam of ramayanam rama listens to kumara sambhavam nine different anecdotes rama listens vedanta deshika says kushika suta katitha vidita nava vividha kata nine anecdotes rama listens in balakandam he listens to sharavana sharam is a reed wherever you have the reeds of shara it is called sharavana because he he is slid from the amnionic sack of ganga that's kannam karoti it is kandaha that skanda becomes kanda in tamil he is called guha so the essence of kartikeya charitram comes in valmiki ramayanam arunagiri natha when he celebrates uh, rama's greatness in tirupugal the first tirupugal muttai tarvatti tirunagai attikira shakti charavana muttikkuruvittu kurubarayana odum முக்கட் பரமர்க்கு சுருதியின் முற்பட்டது கற்பித்திரு வரும் முப்பத்து முவர்க்க தமிழரும் அடி பேண பத்து தல ஒத்த கணைதோடு ஒற்றை கிரைமத்தை பொறுதொரு பட்டப்பட வட்ட திகிரில் இரவாக ஹி மென்ஷன்ஸ் ஆஃப் ராமா ஹி கால்ஸ் அம் பச்சை புயல் தர்சானிபிகேஷன் ஆஃப் ஃபிளாலஸ் பியூட்டி ஹூ ஷைன்ஸ் லைக் த எமரால்ட் தட்ஸ் கட் ஃப்ரம் அ மவுண்டன் அருணகிரி நாதா கிவ்ஸ் அ வெரி பியூட்டிஃபுல் டிஸ்கிரிப்ஷன் ஹி கோஸ் வெரி க்ளோஸ் டு வாட் வேதாந்த தேசிகா சேஸ் நமஸ்தஸ்மை கஸ்மை சன ஹி சேஸ் when rama walked by mithilopavanam mithilopavanam is the outskirts of mithila where the ashram of shatananda and gautama was so there was this lady who was deemed to be a stone because there is no word of stone in Ra- valmiki ramayanam she looked like a piece of stone called ahalya and rama was going to mithila to marry sita and what was the cv empty what was the achievement of rama he listens to his parents who will give their daughter in marriage maapla yaar na appa ma becha ke panna kudupalo ha நீங்களே வச்சுக்கோங்கோம்பா அதனால வாட் வாஸ் த அச்சீவ்மெண்ட் ஆஃப் ராமா விஸ்வாமித்ரா ஹேட் திஸ் ஹூலி அண்ட் ஆர்ட் வாஸ் டாஸ்ட் டு ஃபில் ஹிஸ் சிவி ஸோ வெல் ஹி வாக் த கிராஸ் வாக் பாஸ்ட் த ஹெர்மிட்டேஜ் ஆஃப் ஷதானந்தா அண்ட் கௌதமா இட் சீம்ஸ் ராமாஸ் ஃபீட் டச்ட் அஹல்யா அண்ட் தட் வாஸ் மோர் தென் அனஃப் ஃபார் சீதா டு மேரி வை பிகாஸ் ஷீ வாண்டட் டு மேரி சம்படி ஹூஸ் பியோர் கோல்ட் and rama's feet whenever they are described by the acharyas it is compared to lotus kararavindena padaravindam but arunagiri natha says the feet of rama was akin to that of uh, gold why because to test the purity of gold you have to rub it against a stone his feet touched the stone and she proved right so the one who proved rama was gold was ahalya so she got married to rama this is what arunagiri natha says so there is a plethora there is a melange of poets in the tamil tradition who have added such color i started with valmiki ramayanam celebrated commentary in sanskritam called bhushanam by govinda raja then i arrived at alvars i went to silapadigaram in puranannur the vageyakaras the musicians of this land how much beauty they have added i bring kamban in that because i don't call him a poet he is a musical poet இவ்வண்ணம் நிகழ்ந்த வண்ணம் இனிந்த உலகுக்கெல்லாம் உய்வண்ண மந்திமற்றோர் துயர் வண்ணம் உருவதுண்டோ மை வண்ணத் தரக்கி போரில் மழை வண்ணத்து அண்ணலே உன் கை வண்ணம் அங்கு கண்டேன் கால் வண்ணம் இங்கு கண்டேன் வென் பீப்புள் ஆஃப் திஸ் வேர்ல்ட் ஆர் அக்கஸ்டம் டு பனிஷிங் தி அதர் பர்சன் வித் அண்ட் எம்ப்ரேசிங் த்ரூ தேர் ஹேண்ட்ஸ் யூ டன் தப்போசிட் ராமா யூ ஹவ் கில்ட் தாட்டகா வித் யோர் ஹேண்ட்ஸ் அண்ட் எம்ப்ரேஸ்ட் அஹல்யா வித் யோர் ஃபுட் வாட் கிரேட் அச்ச
கைவண்ணம் அங்கு கண்டேன் கால் வண்ணம் இங்கு கண்டேன் வென் ஹனுமான் ரிட்டர்ன்ஸ் ஃப்ரம் லங்கா அண்ட் மீட்ஸ் ராமா ஹி சேஸ் ராமா யூ நோ ஐ சா த லேடி ஹூ கேவ் பேக் த இன்ட்ரன்சிக் கேரக்டரிஸ்டிக் ஃபீச்சர் ஆஃப் மை குலம் பேக் டு மீ ஐ பிலாங் டு வானர குலம் a vanara is supposed to be indecisive whether to talk or not to talk whether to come or not to come indecisiveness is the feature of a vanara till i met rama i was indecisive till i met you rama i was indecisive i did not know who is the one who is to be venerated and paid obeisances to the moment i saw you rama i thought you are the one idam ekam sunishpannam i was clear undoubtedly nissandeham that i have to propitiate to you but you know after meeting sita i've changed my decision i'll propitiate to her so i've become indecisive again so who has given me this indecisiveness back it is sita yen kulam ennadaaki uyarpugalku urutiyaya tan kulam tannadaaki tannai ittanimai seidan van kulam kootrukku eendu vanavar kulathai vaalvithu yen kulam enakku thandal ennini seivadu emoi says kamban 10348 verses the earliest known ramayana version a transcreation in a bharatiya language besides sanskritam is kamba ramayana of course there was something before that kakavin ramayanam of the javanese but that's outside the land so kamba has presented tyagaraja the telugu poet who lived by the banks of panchanadi kshetram whom we think we can venerate by just adorning ourselves with lungi today says he brings the tradition he is a telugu person who settled for generations in the tamil land he does not want to give up his tradition of the telugu marriage where there is a curtain drawn between the boy and the girl marugu telugu bhashalo marugu ante madhyallo unna yavanika between the boy and the girl marugu ante madhyallo unna yavanika curtain ki marugu anta peru so she it's it is as if sita asks rama see i want to see you why is the screen between us marugu yelara vo raghava marugu yelara adi oka vichedam chestunnarante adi marugu yelara okati ante marugelara marugelara of course i keep asking sorry to all the people who speak telugu that we are butchering their lyrics but anyways we at least sing so marugu yelara after tyagaraja o raghava marugela chara chara roopa every kriti of tyagaraja he says oka kirtanalu bantu ante um, the, the the royal guard whoever is the chamberlain who protects the apartment is called bantu telugu bhasha lo bantu it's not pantu it's a bantu so tyagaraja says give me the position of being the chamber line to your apartment bantu reeti koluvu viyavaiya rama then rama will ask him in return right what are your qualifications to be my bantu tyagaraja says as the chamber line whenever i listen to your rama and am rama i get goosebumps romanchamane ghanakanchukamu tarvata next i have a tattoo what is that tattoo rama bhakta rama bhaktudanu mudra billayu what other qualification do you have i have a weapon oh my goodness somebody in bombay had a weapon and had to go to the jail what weapon are you having rama nama mane varakhagami virajillu naiga tyagarajuni ke bantu reeti koluvu how are the lyrics and the devotion of my tyagaraja any way less than any other poet so tyagaraja celebrates him every kriti every kriti even if he has to sing about krishna there will be rama sadhinchane is about krishna that pancharatna madhyalo unna kriti it is completely about krishna but there is one rama there hare rama chandra ragukulesha mrudu subhaja sesha shayana paranari sodar raja rama will come there muttu swami dikshitar ram vibhakti kirtana basic sanskritam we know ram of ram by ram for ram ramaha ramasya ramayo ramena for every vibhakti he has written a kirtana shri rama chandro rakshatu maam prathama vibhakti ram 
Ramachandram bhavayami raghukula Ramachandram So it becomes the object Dvitiya vibhakti Ramachandrasya dasoham Shri Sita Nayakasya Guru Guha Hitasya Ramachandrena Ramachandrasya Ramakali Nine Kritis Then he writes independent ones Kshiti Jaya Ramanam Chintaye In Devagandhari there is one Kokilam The amount that they have spent on Rama Bhakti is priceless what do I speak of Sadashiva Brahmendra, one of the greatest scholars in Advaita? Remember, everything I'm saying is coming from this land, this part of the country. One another composer who was pre Tyagaraja, pre Trimurtis, who lived in a hamlet. I don't even know the GPS even recognizes the proper route. It's called Uttakkad. Venkatakavi says, Mallikadi sugandhamaya navamalikadi shobita galena ullasa parishilana chamara ubhaya pashvena kundala kelana kalyana Rama Uttakadu Kavi says Arunachala Kavi One amongst the three Tamil Trinity Muttuttandavar Mari Mutta Pillai and Arunachala Kavi Arunachala Kavi has written an exclusive Gaya Natakam called Rama Natakam He says how Sita was When Hanuman met Sita And then came back to Rama Stating that I have seen Sita Rama goes into the details to understand Understanding how she was in treatment What treatment was meted to Ravana Panikala vari jampola nirangku si pagalbur Yugamaga kalita le prayasi Ninaitange ravana non non ver Chi chi nilada Yendu yesi Tanit tan vuir tanaitan vida magarasi Sarum po de karnum Samayami devasi Initamadam sayel agar in jidar pesi Rama, 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 in jidar pesi kandain, 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 sita ye. How can you even end up living, explaining this lyrics? What bhavartam and bhakti that person had? Of course, it's a very sad part that we have. One small set of musicians who get into the concept of saying that there is no need for bhakti. <laughs> to I have to leave it to their own because in Sanatana Dharma we also believe karma is an integral part. <laughs> and my acharyas have not have never told me to be abusive. I know how to give it back with elegance. So bhakti was central to Shastriya Sangeetam. There is no question of whether it is a part or not. There was an Acharya of the Kanchi Peetham called Bhagavan Nama Bhodindral. He gave Ramakaranamritam Kalyananam Nidhanam Kalimathamathanam Pavanam Pavananam. It is said you go to Govindapuram, you can even listen to the Ramanamam while you are being on that Adishtanam. I have to talk about my hero, the person whom I love, Vedanta Deshika. He is a polymath, a polyglot, a dietitian, a mathematician, a philosopher, a dramatist, what not he was. That one personality. His Raghuvira Gadhyam, one is enough to celebrate the essence of Ramayanam. He uses the toughest of the words in Sanskritam. Puts them into prose. Remember any person who is an Acharya will never attempt prose. Because prose, prose can never be remembered. It is only poetry which can be remembered. Betty Botta? Bhat Sampata. See, we remember so well. Isn't that an essential component of our Vedanta Shastram. And the twinkle? Complete, come on. <laughs> twinkle, twinkle, little star, and that person who sat on the wall and fell, what's his name? See, everything is poetry. Vedanta Deshika goes the other way. He, he, he thought Robert Frost said, two roads diverged in a yellow wood, and sorry I could not travel both, and be one traveler longer. I stood and looked down one as far as I could. He took the other way. He said, I'll take up to prose. 
jay jay mahavira mahadhira dha when you recite raghuvira gadyam you have to make sure the person who's sitting or standing opposite you is 10 feet away amrita varshini jay jay mahavira mahadhira dhaureya devasura samara samaya samudita nikhila nirjara nirdharita niravadhika mahatmya dashavadana damita daivata parishada bhyathita dasharati bhavat dinakara kula kamala divakar divisha dadipati rana sahacharana chatura dasharata chara maruna vimochana kosala suta kumara bhava kanchukita karana kara kaumara keli gopayita kaushika dhara rana dhara dhuriya bhavya divyastar brinda vandita pranata jana vimata vimatana dullalita dullalita tanutara vishika vitadana vigatita visharara rusharara taataka taatake yajjada kerana shakala dhara jatila natapati makuta tata natana patu vibuda saridati atibakula madugalana lalita ಪದ ನಳಿನ ರಜ ಉಪಮೃದಿತ ನಿಜಬ್ರಿಜಿನ ಜಹದುಪಳ ತನುರುಚಿರ ಪರಮ ಮುನಿವರ ಯುವತಿ ನುತ ಕುಶಿಕ ಸುತ ಕಥಿತ ವಿಧಿತ ನವ ವಿವಿಧ ಕಥ ಮೈಥಿಲ ನಗರ ಸುಲೋಚನಾ ಲೋಚನ ಚಕೋರ ಚಂದ್ರ ಖಂಡ ಪರಶುಕೋ ದಂಡ ಪ್ರಕಾಂಡನ ಖಂಡನ ಶೌಂಡ ಭುಜದಂಡ ಚಂಡ ಕರ ಕಿರಣ ಮಂಡಲ ಬೋಧಿತ ಪುಂಡರೀಕ ವನರುಚಿ ಲುಂಟಾಕ ಲೋಚನ ಮೋಚಿತ ಜನಕ ಹೃದಯ ಶಂಕಾತಂಕ ಪರಿಹೃತ ನಿಖಿಲ ನರಪತಿ ವರ್ಣ ಜನಕ ದುಹಿತು ಕುಚತಟ ವಿಹರಣ ಸಮುಚಿತ ಕರತಳ ಶತಕೋಟಿ ಶತಗುಣ ಕಠಿಣ ಪರಶುಧರ ಮುನಿವರ ಕರಧುತ ದುರವನ ಮತಮ ನಿಜದನುರಾಕರ್ಷಣ ಪ್ರಕಾಶಿತ ಪಾರಮೇಷ್ಟ್ಯ ಕ್ರತು ಹರ ಶಿಖರಿ ಕಂತುಕ ವಿಹೃತ್ಯುನ್ಮುಖ ಜಗದಿ ರುಂತುತ ಜಿತ ಹರಿ ದಂತಿ ದಂತ ದಂತು ರೋಂತ ದಶ ವದನ ದಮನ ಕುಶಲ ದಶ ಶತ ಭುಜಮುಖ ನೃಪತಿ ಕುಲ ರುದಿರ ಜರ ಭರಿತ ಪೃಥುತರ ತಟಾಕ ತರ್ಪಿತ ಪಿತೃಕ ಭೃಗುಪತಿ ಸುಗತಿ ವಿಹತಿಕರ ನತ ಪರುಡಿಶು ಪರಿಗ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಬಾಲಕಾಂಡ ವೆನ್ ಅವರ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಟ್ರೈನ್ಡ್ ಇನ್ ಅವರ್ ಸಂಪ್ರದಾಯ ದ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಚಾಲೆಂಜ್ ದಟ್ ಅವರ್ ಆಚಾರ್ಯ ವಿಲ್ ಗಿವ್ ಟು ಅಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಟು ಲರ್ನ್ ರಘುವೀರ ಗದ್ಯ if you learn raghuvira gadyam this mangalam bhagavan vishnu mangalam garuda dvaja uh, jay jagadish hare all that is cake walk oh, you can take mysore park walk or something let's impress anand ranganathan for some time so <laughs> raghuvira gadyam is a testimony to the bhakti that this land gave thousand years back one of the greatest philosophers ramanujacharya ಶಮಿತೋದಯ ಶಂಕರಾದಿ ಗರ್ವ ಸ್ವಬಲಾತ್ ಉದ್ಧತ ಯಾದವ ಪ್ರಕಾಶ ಅವರೋಪಿತವಾನ್ ಶುತೇರ್ ಅಪಾರ್ಥಾನ್ ನನುರಾಮಾವರಜ ಸ ಏಷ ಭೂಯ ದ ಒನ್ ಹೂ ವಾಸ್ ಬಾರ್ನ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಹ್ಯಾಮ್ಲೆಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಶ್ರೀ ಪೆರಂಬುದೂರ್ ಥೌಸಂಡ್ ಇಯರ್ಸ್ ಬ್ಯಾಕ್ ಇನ್ ತೌಸಂಡ್ ಸೆವೆಂಟೀನ್ ಸಿಇ ಹಿ ವೆಂಟ್ ಟು ದ ಫುಟ್ ಹಿಲ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ತಿರುಮಲ ತಿರುಪತಿ ಯು ನೋ ವೈ ಟು ಲರ್ನ್ ದ ನುವಾನ್ಸಸ್ ಆಫ್ ರಾಮಾಯಣಂ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದ ಮೂಲಂ ಫಾರ್ ಒನ್ ಇಯರ್ ಫಾರ್ ಒನ್ ಇಯರ್ ಹಿ ಸೆಡ್ ಐ ನೀಡ್ ಟು ಲರ್ನ್ ದ ರಹಸ್ಯಂಸ್ ಆಫ್ ರಾಮಾಯಣಂ his maternal uncle matula who was called shri shaila purna was performing kainkaryam atop tirupati imagine that scenario where tirupati had no devotees you can't even imagine tirupati had nobody coming in going out it was a, it was infested it was amidst the forest there was only one person who was doing ghata kainkaryam they used to carry pots of water from akasha ganga and go so that's how they became ghatambi which became kidambi kidambi all belong to the gotram of atreya atri maharishi atreyas are kidambis not all atreyas are kidambis but all kidambis are atreyas it is like carnot engine in physics now he went to his maternal uncle and the maternal uncle said you come up the hill i will teach you ramayana visheshartams ramanuja said see the lord isn't in the hill the hill is the lord i will not climb the hill the students stayed at the foothills the acharya used to come every day explain ramayana and go for one full year and learning from that one year he coded 18 rahasyas of ramayana bahya kshepah kalartah bhavabayam sadvrittam acharyavatta gayatri artah hitamuchita param tatva artham schapancha karpanyam sesha bhavah ghataka vidipalam paratantriyam tata tat ಕಾಷ್ಠಾಕಾಲ ಪ್ರತೀಕ್ಷಾ ವಸತಿ ಪದಮಿತಿ ಪ್ರಾಹು ಅಷ್ಟಾದಶಾರ್ಥಾನ್ ಏಟೀನ್ ರಹಸ್ಯ ಒನ್ ರಹಸ್ಯ ಇಸ್ ದ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಲೆಟರ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ವರ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಎವ್ರಿ ಸೆಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಥೌಸಂಡ್ ವರ್ಸಸ್ ಇನ್ ರಾಮಾಯಣ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಪುಟ್ ದೆಮ್ ಟುಗೆದರ್ ಯು ಗೆಟ್ ಗಾಯತ್ರಿ ಮಂತ್ರ ಸಿ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಶ್ಲೋಕಂ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ವರ್ಸ್ ಒನ್ ತಪಸ್ವಾಧ್ಯಾಯ ನಿರತ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಲೆಟರ್ ತ then you will have vishwamitra sa vitur sa will come v tu va re ni yam so from the 24000 verses if you take the first letter from the first verse you will get the entire gayatri mantra that is one rahasyam that has been coded in the commentary 
Ramanuja says this. So beginning from Puranānūru, Selappadigāram, Aalvās, Nāyanmās, Ramanuja, Vedānta Deshika, Kambar, Vāgayakārās like Sadashiva Brahmendra, Tyagaraja, Muttuswāmi Dikshitar. Of course, Shama Shastri was a Sri Vidya Upasaka. He has not sung, but he has sung one kriti on Varadaraja, a Varnam on Varadaraja, but not on Rama exclusively. Uttakad Kavi, Papanasam Shivan, Ramane Bhajita, Noi Vinay Tirume, Sanchala Magan Ridume Sita. Those of you who have come from places which is beyond Chennai, you will know that during the December, December, January, it's called the season time here because during the month of Margari, it is said spend time in propitiating gods exclusively. So there is music and dance. Trust me, in every concert, you will have a Kriti in Tamil. You will have an Abhang in Marathi. You will have an Devarnama in Kannada. You will have four or five Kritis in Telugu. You will have one Bhajan in Hindi. You will have one in Marwari. You will have one in Malayalam. Don't trust the t-shirts here, people who were saying that we don't want to learn the languages. There are people who celebrate languages better. So this is one city. I tell you with full confidence, in a year I give 250 discourses across the country, not sparing one city. I give in English, I give in Canada, I give in Tamil. I can tell you, the amount of literary contribution done from the times of Valmiki Ramayanam to the Bhakti literature, Tamil Nadu is number one. I can say and I can prove it. This is the land of Bhakti. I am not saying it. In Srimad Bhagavatam, Narada asks the lady, who are you? She says, Utpanna Dravide Saham. My name is Bhakti. She says, my name is Bhakti. It comes in the first skandam of Srimad Bhagavatam. She says, I am Bhakti. You know where I was born, Narada? Dravide Saham. I was born in the Dravida Desha. I spent my young days in Karnataka. I went to high school in Maharashtra. Tatam Gurjare Gata. Then I settled in Gujarat. She talks about these four states which contribute the highest GST to the, till date. Right? These four states. Tamil Nadu, Karnataka, Maharashtra, Gujarat. Am I right or wrong? Uh, so this is from Bhagavatam. So the point that I would like to conclude is all our acharyas, all our vageyakaras, I'm not trying to be very jingoistic about just this state, there are a plethora of acharyas across the country. But with full confidence and utmost humility, I'm telling you, Ramayanam is, people were soaked in Ramayanam in this region. Soaked. You take any family here, any family, random person, you ask them, is somebody named after Rama, Raghava, Ramaswami? Somebody will be there. Vaidehi, Sita, Janaki, Anjaneya, Hanu. Something. There will be somebody. So this is a state, just not for namesake, even in literature has contributed immensely to bhakti literature. And I'm extremely happy that in this given time I could speak. I have another 15 minutes left. So I would like to open this session for more questions, if you have any questions, please. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, Shefalaji. She's wearing such a beautiful Ramar blue with Rudraksham border. Mm. Namaskaram. Uh, Namaskaram. You are referring to Periyavachan Pillai. Mm -hmm. So, and the last one is suit and malayal and indhunu one and the idu mudiyo. And the suit one is number border coat suit ta illa the. Suit one is na ani one. Okay, it's only just wearing. Ani one is that. Ille but ana see, a lot of the ideas for the dress that we wear are also derived from our past. See, it's not that suddenly Louis Vuitton only tells us what to wear and what not to wear. It's not that. A lot of it comes from architecture. See, rightfully, she's my very good friend. She's very learned. Chitra has dealt with this in many lectures where she explains the footwear of the sculptures that teach us style. See, I'll give you an example. When we talk, you talk your, your basic point was suit. Whatever we are wearing today is the fashion of the day. Was it there then? Suit, 
maybe there would have been a relation. I don't know. Uh, I, I'm not in that sphere of research. So, uh, but one thing is, we had fashion stars in those days. You know, when Vishwamitra calls Rama, the beautiful part is, he says, Kaka Paksha Dharam. Send me that son of yours. You know, uh, I see my wife doing it. So she pull that hair and then you roll it. You know, there's a pencil-like thing with which you roll. That's called Kaka Paksham in Sanskritam. So Rama used to have Kaka Paksham. And here the commentator says, Kaka Paksham was the fashion of that, those days. So when Vishwamitra asks for Rama, he doesn't say, give me your son Rama. He's, poet, he's a poet, right? He says, give me that son of yours who has Kaka Paksham. So of the four, only Rama had Kaka Paksham. Kaka Paksha Dharam Viram, he says. So Ramayana has to be looked into Madhuram, Madhura Aksharam. Every letter has something to say. Next question. Sir, Namaskaram. This is Pandit Sampatra Sharma, Sampathengar. This is Ramuruda, you can the world is in the world. You can see the world is in the world. You can see the world is in the world. You can see the world is in the world. You can see number one. If you are in the world, you can see the help of the world. In the world, you can see the world is in the world. You can see the world is in the world. You can see the world is in the world. You can see the world is in the world. You can Pugayurai Tendin and Ro, Ponga and Langa. Please ask the question, sir. Yes, question. Migayurai Tulagam Nur, Vedam Vendor Patre, Pagayurai Chinde are compiled or Pandin Tira, Nagayurai Mukateagi, Nalgura and Alva. And I sort of Pahayana Sende Ulang Lakunguda, Ni Nalade say you've been sorter. Either Ungla Deva, Wasatari, the Petu Ungla Karatan. Karata, you sort of the Nasirida. See, see, Shatroho, Prakyata Virya, sir, Anjani, yes, here, Vikrama, he says, Valmiki. Rama's greatness was not to get great testimonials from his own mother wife. Even the people who were the direct affected parties like Shurpanaka, Tara, Mandodari, they will do a stuti when they see a drama. See, the greatest achievement of a leader is to get testimonials from your opposition. Shatroho Prakhyata. Rama did that because of his magnanimity. So I, I second, sir, concurrent tighter value. Ah. Next question. Shoot. Oh, Pavitra ji. Namaskaram. Ram Ram Dishin ji. It's a pleasure to always listen to you. With your awe-inspiring discourses, you're, you're imparting so much knowledge to the society. What do you expect of the society to do? What homework must the society do? This topic of uh, whatever Pavitra ji has asked, uh, I've had the opportunity to have her work in our Sanskritam movie as Gautami. So she was playing the role of Shakuntala's foster mother in the Sanskritam movie. So I admire her work. I know how much of devotion she has to Puja Sri Dayananda Saraswati Swami and what work she does in Bhagavad Gita. Now her question is the topic for uh, uh, Ananda Shankar ji's uh, festival on March 31st at 6 p.m. in Hyderabad. But uh, assuming most of you won't come there, I'll tell you here. <laughs> so <laughs> she's asking what next? Yeah, after this, what next? What yeah, yeah, I get it. See, we all concentrate two, see, four words that I would just like to quickly tell. Prama. Prama means jnanam, knowledge. Prama means knowledge. That which records that knowledge and gives to us is called pramanam. You know, Vedam, Vedanta, Itihasa, Puranas, they are called pramanam because they, gives us, they give us that prama, knowledge. So prama, knowledge. Pramanam is that book. The one who is denoted by the Pramanam is called Prameyam. So you learn Ramayana to understand Paramatma as Rama. You learn Mahabharatam to understand Paramatma as Krishna. So there is a Prameyam, the object who is denoted by that Pramanam. Fourth is us. We need to read all of this. So we are called Pramata. So Prama, Pramanam, Prameyam, Pramata. Today we concentrate more on Prameyam. Today we say Rama Janma Bhumi has come, good, very good, we all have to go visit, we have to have a darshan, good. But we are concentrating so much on Prameyam. But we are not concentrating on Pramanam. See, today if you, everybody, see when I used to stay in Pilani, we used to have one person who used to give lectures. Used to this uh, Anantarama Dikshitar lectures and you know the Upanyasams of the South, I used to go sit there. Sita Maya ne Ramji se sadhi kiya. Dono ban gaye. Raban ne akar unko apaharan kar diya. In four lines he'll complete Ramayanam. For us, for that one shloka, 
we have to sit madhuram madhuraksharam why he has used madhuram for that my acharya will give 10 days of discourse on that uh, particular vyakhyanam why this in depth understanding of pramanam is important if your understanding is of pramanam is weak or negligible your foundation can easily be shaken you know if people ask you questions simple questions they will ask you when the payasam was given first kaushalya took then it was given to sumitra as per ramayanam it was given to sumitra then to kaikai and again to sumitra anuchintya sumitra ye punareva mahamatihi but the order in which the children were born was different it was rama san bharat uh, uh, kaushalya san rama kaikai san bharata why did that order change for that there is an explanation in the vyakhyanam uttara phalguni nakshatre uttara phalgunam is uttaram nakshatram when the marriage took place of rama with sita it was an uttaram but there is a dharma shastri rule that you cannot hold multiple marriages on the same stage nashyo bhavati then some of the marriages will not succeed there is a rule in jyotish shastra but how did dasharatha do is it for cost cutting four marriages ore patta pa vechi mudichutla why what is the resolution to it when rama left ayodhya what was his age you know it is being clearly established when rama was married he had not touched 12 he was running the 10th year and upon the marriage he completed 11th sita was 6 when rama left ayodhya he completed 24 and it was his 25th year he left on chaitra masam he left on the pournami because that later night he had uh, there was an eclipse when he returned he was 39 clearly said how do we derive see somebody can ask how are you telling so clearly there are five statements in ramayanam five simultaneous equations if you keep sita says as x and rama's age as y you will get five equations and you will get the sage all this is there but my point is not every person in the society is expected to do research you know people have their own life they have their own problems but at least take the efforts to read and listen today the art of listening is gone we are we are always on temple is built temple is built but you have to know the pramanam to understand prameyam you have to know ramayana else your bound your foundation will be shaken somebody will just say pregnant sita was sent to the forest what do you think of this man he did agni pariksha for his wife do you call him a maryada purushottam he killed vali when he was in the hiding how dare he interfere in somebody else's kingdom if they throw through three questions we'll be startled apdiya dore sami enna vo solraaru periya sami yaar kar avaru that's all we'll be rattled our foundation is gone what will you do with a temple when you don't have knowledge of ramayana so answer to pavitra ji's question is the society how whichever age you are learn your pramanam first various sources are there today we are living in a different world you sit in one place how many people you can listen to you don't have to go physically you do something walking gymming driving sleeping do something and listen so that's my thing uh, what is the time we have 315 have to complete we have got nine more minutes yeah dushant uh, ah namaskaram namaskaram inga paathadile romba alagana thirumeni ramarudu endha koyil adha patti Actually, uh, we have a celebrated author who does so much of Kainkaryam for the Dharma through bringing the Prameyam back, you know? She showed us Vadavur He's a great contributor to Dharma. See, I have uh, no such words, but I can tell you one thing. Those of them who are outside Chennai, there are various kshetrams to Rama, which uh, I'm sure Chitraji would have brought into the discussion today. There is this place called Vadubur. It's a small village, uh, very close to Mannargudi, which was famous for different reasons a few years back. <laughs> so in Vadubur, you have this Utsava Murti. See, in Agama Shastram, Utsava Murti is more important than the Mula Murti. But you know, every temple we concentrate only on the Mula Murti because Utsava Murti is what has the the right word in English is powers, not exa uh, in Sanskritam word Sarva Shakti Nam Yetam. It goes into that. Vadubu Rama is beautiful. See, initially when Ram Lalla was installed, I was called to speak. 
initially it took little time for me to absorb rama of ayodhya because you know why there is one statement in the ramayanam when um, dasharatha asks his ministers i am planning to coronate rama as the higher apparent what qualities does he have so there are 30 shlokas in the first few sargas of ayodhya kandam where each one says he is very good you cannot you know whatever decision he takes he will never tell it outside from his face you can never guess what he is thinking he will guess what you are thinking all these beautiful shlokas that time one vamadeva says rama is adept in dance there is one line vaiharika ha he is very adept in dance but we are used to only krishna dancing right however hefty he was he danced in the rasa krida he is not bothered about what uh, shaming body shaming anybody does he bindas he'll dance so he danced on the snake and everything you know in that sangeet nights before the marriage <laughs> and he whereas rama is very careful but rama had a physique that suited dance he had broad shoulders thin hip everything but he was adept in dance in dance see you go to any dancer we have pavitra ji here we had ananda ji for some time back so you go to any dancer they will give the best pose poses for photos have you seen <laughs> they are used to see the moment you say shringaram they will come up with a face you say karuna they will immediately they will give a face you know normal people if you tell we will be wondering karuna na enna the other actor irukare karuna sa avar pere illaya indha mari da namakku thonu but you know that expression that anger you have to get the moment they say lotus their hands will go like this the basic attribute of a dancer is to stand in tribhangam they'll never stand straight one foot this side leg bent hip tilted this is the rama we are used to in tamil nadu you take any rama tillai velaham anywhere whereas ram lalla was different he is a nationalist he stood in national anthem position <laughs> Mm -hmm. straight so it took little time for me to absorb that murti in my mind now the question is which murti see matriyoni araichiyum murti araichiyum matriyoni ai vokkum there is one statement 900 years back by an acharya called pillalokacharya once the deity is established as murti if we compare this is better that is good it is said matriyoni ai vokkum it is like telling am i born to this mother so you should never compare once the pratishtha is done but since you have asked i can always say that i love vadavur ramar the best his lips his smile his you know it's beyond vachama gocharam but my pracharya the one who taught me shri bhashyam was karunakara acharya swami his father was shrinidhi swami he was a great poet ashu kavi he will write immediately in sanskritam he was even blessed he stayed in vadavur for about 2 months he he was afflicted with some disease and he stayed every day he go to the temple he would see rama smile and he used to relate why rama smiled to a shloka so he wrote one ramayanam called mandasmita ramayanam smiling ramayanam mandasmita ramayanam every verse will describe why rama smiles in vadavur like this so i can only think of his ramayanam i have no ability to construct sentences thank you do we conclude we are done ore 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 three more minutes ore ore question ah namaskar ketringo and the purananur la part nu sonninga adu ezhidinad yaar inga the mention panna very good adu i don't remember immediately na google panni solli pulla seri adu inga chatta nyabam illa 168 237 indha rendu paadalgal kulla onnu irukku sir adu innonu undu நீங்க சைவ திருமறையில 700 ரெஃபரன்சஸ் வருதுன்னு சொல்றீங்க ராமாயணம் நிறைய வருது அது அத அத ஏதோ லிஸ்ட் பண்ணிருக்கமா இப்படி லிஸ்ட் பண்ணல நான் சும்மா ஒரு ஏதோ ஒரு ரிசர்ச்காக சும்மா உங்களுக்கு நீங்க பெரியவர் கேட்டிருக்கேள் இருங்க ஆ சும்மா ஒரு பாடல் உங்களுக்கு நான் திருமறையில இருந்து எடுக்கறேன் சார் என்ன சொல்றார் செங்கண்மால் சிலை பிடித்து சேனையோர் சேதுபத சேதுபந்தனம் செய்து சென்று புக்கு பொங்கு போர் பல செய்து புக்கால் வென்ற போர்கள் நெடுமுடிகள் பொடியாய் விழ அங்கொருத்தன் திருவிரலால் இறையை ஊன்றி உடைத்தான் அருள் புரிந்த அடி அளந்தான் 
வணங்கமலி கடல் புடைசூழ் மாட வீதி வலம் புறமே புங்கே மண்ணினாரே அப்படின்னு இது வந்து ஆறாம் திருமுறையில் வரக்கூடிய பாட்டு அதாவது ஞான சம்பந்த திரு திரு திருக்கடை காப்புக்கு அப்புறம் அப்பர் பெருமானுடைய பாடல் அப்படின்னு எனக்கு ஆறாம் திருமுறைன்னு வருது அப்போ கடலோரம் இது முதல்ல வேதாரண்யமாக இதுவாக இருக்கும் அங்கே என்ன சொல்கிறார் ராமர் வந்து அன்னைக்கு சேத்து கட்டினாரே வானர சைன்யர்களோடு கட்டினத்துக்கு முன்னாடி விபீஷணனுக்கு அடைக்கலம் கொடுத்தாரே அவரும் இங்கே வந்து கைலாய மலையை தூக்கி பிடிக்க நினைத்த சிவபெருமானை இது ராவணனை தன் விரலால் அழுத்திய சிவனும் ஒன்று சேர நான் பார்க்கிறேனே அப்படிங்கிற மாதிரி அப்பர் பெருமான் பாடல் should i leave it here because we have other speakers yes sir namaste namaste dushant i am praful ketkara editor of organizer it was a real pleasure to listen you in person uh, of course we is i keep listening to your discourses online but uh, shabda perhaps makes the difference in uh, i have been involved in developing this uh, curriculum and the structures related to i find it very problematic uh, the so called indian knowledge system and most of the people who are involved coming from your kind of background aict and you know some technological institute and they are more interested in proving that uh, all kinds of science and technology we had in our knowledge system but as you rightly said it is the essence of bhakti that that actually formed our if we really have to integrate this tradition of gaining knowledge and rooted in the context of ramayana what principles that we should follow while thinking about the so called indian knowledge system if you yeah. can throw uh, some light on this uh, sure thank you praful ji uh, this is the last question there'll be a next session after this um even i i am disturbed by certain narratives sir for example you know some people say that we have to give up the current education system entirely abandon it again like how we abandoned our system before and came to this western they want to do this and then go back to that is not correct is my opinion you can continue learning the same syllabus what you have of math science and everything independently you can also learn what contributions were made to science and maths by our acharyas i wouldn't say every part of maths that we study today has been explored completely for example uh, there is a madhava series which uh, ram subramanyam sir is working on and all of that but i don't know if every part of integration integral calculus is brought in our system so the overall essence is there are certain places where the current education system which we have largely bequeathed from the west europe and different parts of the us whatever we have bequeathed that knowledge system has there is another knowledge system that we have you know gathered from our sources of ramayana mahabharata aryabhatta and so on and so forth in many places there is some intersection in certain pl- most other places there is no intersection they are different we should not forcefully join them you know uh, stating that this embryology in this particular ivf iui technique only that was done no not necessary to do that you can say there was something like this there is something like this now it may seem like this it could have been like this so my humble submission is when we integrate the ancient indian knowledge systems we should not do that with any preconceived notion that we are the best and everybody else is bad that you see generally people who work in this uh, i've met a few namba kitta illadade in tamil they say namba kitta illadade illa we had everything that's a wrong way of approaching things we had a lot of things whatever we had we'll bring that to light that should be the only thing there are certain things from the western knowledge systems see we may have a problem with the western mind of overall thinking but we don't have co- problems with the scientists and the people from europe and if they have found something good let's take that in say same is the case when people ask let's say architecture i love dravidian architecture i love hoysala architecture each has its own style but i can't stop appreciating the gothic style just because i like this so my humble submission is you will know it better sir so where, whoever is trying to learn the knowledge of the past don't do it with a notion that we were the only best people 
we were very good. And the truth is, all our contributions have not been brought to light for various political reasons. That is agreeable. Let us bring it to light. But let's not rank them that this is number one. What Aryabhatta said is number one. That ranking should not happen, but ultimately the person who's a scientist from Europe and US is also blessed by the same Paramatma. He is not blessed by a different God. He is also blessed by the same Paramatma. The same Jeevatma is in him. Karma has put him to that bhumi. Karma has made him being born into a Catholic family or some family. That's okay. But ultimately that knowledge is what we should see and not go. When we have a slightly open thinking, we will be so free and we can integrate. The moment we have a preconceived notion, the moment I see Morrison and Boyd of organic chemistry, I feel like killing him. How this Morrison and Boyd can say something what my Bhargava Rishi cannot tell? No. Bhargava said, even Morrison and Boyd said. That's all. Thank you so much. Sridharji, please stay with us. Thank you, Dishan Sridharji. This is the testimony to what you presented here in the last one hour. Answering the gentleman, I also googled. It is Oon Podi Pasun Kudayar, a poet in the Chowra kingdom, who has written in Puranaanuru, Kadan Teral Raman Udan Punar Sitaye, that is written by Oon Podi Pasun Kudayar. Uh, I have to again refer to that. <laughs> That was a very nice presentation and uh, we were immersed in the bhakti. Audience, please remain seated. We were immersed in the bhakti. I was only thing is expecting Mama of Hathabi Rama to listen to you sing that. You singing is actually a new stage and that was really beautiful. And maybe you should include Mama of Hathabi Rama to your repertoire. May I now request uh, Chef Ali Vaidya, the curator of this program, and Sri Bharat Gopu to, Gopu to honor Dushyan Sridhar. So going forward, I think we should refer to GST, no, BST, the Bhakti service that we have to present. 